Oh, not this dump. <laughs> Hello guys, how are we doing? And welcome to another video. Um, uh, it's a different video. Um, well, when I say different video, it's still a League One video, but it's uh, it's more of a different video because it's one that you're not exactly expecting. But obviously you've seen the title of this video. Um, obviously the main news is, is that my beloved Plymouth Argyle aren't playing today. Um, this weekend more in fact because our next game is at Wembley against Bolton Wanderers of course in the final I'm going to that and I can't wait for it so um, unfortunately I have ended up here yep that's right if you look at this um, if you look at this um, yellow line if you look at that distance if you look at what's around you and then you look up we are actually at the dump. The sign says it all. Horrible name, horrible name. So yeah, not that I've been wanting to do this, but I guess this is going to appear on the, in the channel sometime, me being an Argyle fan, of course, but yeah, we're in this place. We're in Exeter. Right, let's just crack on with this pathetic video and get it over and done with. Oh, just look at it. Just look at it. Oh. Can I buy a gas mask? Oh, just... Why have I chosen to do this? Well, here goes nothing then. Live better, more like kiss my hairy ass. What I'm going to do for the time being is have the best part of the day done now by getting myself a pasty from Warren's. Cause obviously I used to work for Warren's back in St. Justin, Cornwall. Uh, honestly the finest pasty company ever. I love them so much. And I'll meet you guys down the quayside on the River X. I'll probably show you some scenery footage along the way, like this church right here. And basically, I'm going to explain to you on why I'm doing this stupid idea of a video. At least I'm on my bike, off on my bike, off on my bike, off on my bike. Can I just say, by the way, and I still will say this, but... Why is there a massive railway station next, right, like, next door to another massive railway station? That doesn't make sense. It's like they've spoiled, it's like they've spoiled this city, honestly. Um, but, like, you know what that's like? That's like, for example, oh, there's a Weatherspoons right here on this street, so I'll go to that. Oh, no, but there's one round the corner as well, so I might fancy going there instead. Like, just f have one. <laughs> Honestly, you know what that's like? That's like, for example, oh. What inspired you to build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? Hello, I like money. Meanwhile, we have one railway station. It's a trek to get to everywhere, but at least we got one railway station. That's basically the hub of getting to everywhere in our city. Whereas, Here, you're spoilt for choice because, well, unfortunately, a lot of um, upcountry people think that the, the country ends either here or Bristol. So, you know what that means. 
that means people are just too ignorant towards Cornwall and Plymouth, aren't they? It's just our luck, isn't it? It's just our luck. <sighs> Oh, we find a cobbled street. Now, this actually does remind me of Cornwall, seeing that. <laughs> anyway, speaking of Cornwall, I want my pasty. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not joking. It is just going to be the best part of the day, isn't it? Well, unless Accrington Stanley put off a masterclass today, it would be unbelievable, wouldn't it? Anyway, here's the best part of the day. Look at it. Beautiful. There's the team bus. Come on. Come on, guys, today. Up the Accrington Stanley. Up the Stanley. Please just... Oh, it'd just be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> right. There's the proper city name right there. The second word along. Oh. We love you, Plymouth. We love you, Plymouth. And obviously we love Cornwall. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to sit down for a bit and obviously explain the basis of my video. Uh, it's going to be here, isn't it? Because... Well, considering all the places Exeter has, the key is easily my favourite bit, apart from Warren's, of course. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's move on. So yeah, guys, as I was saying, as you all know, um, in already for parts of this video, obviously I'm going to watch um, I'm going to watch a League One game. Plymouth Argyle aren't playing this weekend, so today it's um, you know what makes this game even more interesting though is that Scum are playing the team that we played on Tuesday night, Accrington Stanley. And obviously that is the team that I'm obviously going to be cheering on for 90 minutes today. There's no exceptions about it. Um, so I am going to be in the away end today. But no, the reason being, I'm really, I'm really worried. Actually, I'm going to move because I, I don't want swans to come towards me. I, I, I hate them. Oh... Uh... I, the minute I sit down, I have to head towards me, don't they? Just leave me alone in peace. This is the problem about this place, is that... Oh, no one leaves you alone. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, but yeah, no, of course, uh, this video... Uh, you all know what this video is, obviously. I'm going to watch Accrington Stanley hopefully win today against the scum that is Exeter um you'll be thinking Jack Jana why are you doing this video um okay so yeah I have got a lot of explaining to do because I do agree that this is also a very stupid idea um a few years ago I'll put the link in the description as well but a few years ago Alex Griffin Ipswich fan um, made a video called Going to a Norwich game in my Ipswich shirt. It was Norwich versus Leicester at Carrow Road. Norwich won the game 1-0. So, considering that this was meant to be the day we were playing Bolton, but obviously that got moved to January. I went to Bolton back in January, but since obviously that got moved uh, back in January... Um, Argyle haven't got a game today. They're not playing at all. The next game is Wembley. And obviously I'm going to Wembley next Sunday. I cannot wait for it at all. It's hopefully going to be an absolute historical day for our club. Anyway, but yeah. There's no League One action for us this weekend. And I'm going to be honest, um, and I'll say this now in the channel, so you all know just in case if it doesn't happen, but... Even if I still will make a video out of it, but as of course I couldn't get a season ticket this season, but um, I couldn't get a season ticket this season, unfortunately, due to um, obviously just finishing uni. Uh, I didn't have the money to afford at the time in July as well, but I'm 
very worried I'm going to be missing out on watching the Devon Derby next month because Exeter, Exeter has only allocated us a thousand and obviously um, because it's the Derby I cannot see it going into general sale at all the only way I can see myself getting a ticket is if some sort of person who has a season ticket and brilliant loyalty points or whatever can get me a ticket which I'm hoping by praying nature that happens but I'm worried it's not so I'm just going to put that message out there now guys so you know so yeah that's why I'm saying it um also also um yeah that's also why I'm here today so at least gives me a chance to go to scum this season uh to see a game uh, Accrington Stanley to be fair as well because I couldn't go to Accrington Stanley away on Tuesday night so instead instead I'm going to watch Accrington Stanley at Exeter so literally to make up for that because obviously I wanted to go on Tuesday night but I couldn't uh, I couldn't but uh, yeah um, that's also why I'm here that is also why I'm here but yeah of course it's uh if you look at the table, uh, if you look at the table, this is a game Exeter fans will feel they need to win. But Aki, uh, and hear me out on this, Accrington Stanley are battling for survival. Um, Accrington Stanley are battling for survival. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, obviously, hopefully they'll be up for it. And I know a lot of um, relegation teams, uh, well, not a lot, but like a few have come away from here with one or three points Burton got three points here back in September for their first win of the season Forest Green got a point here um, who else can I think of um, Cambridge didn't Cambridge didn't um, Morecambe still Morecambe still need to come here Morecambe are here on the last day of the season um, MK Dons uh, unfor yeah unfortunately MK Dons lost that uh Invo, to be fair, that's two clubs I'm not that bothered about, in all honesty. So, there you are. Anyway, moving on. But, no, um, there are some games where Exeter have honestly struggled at home. And if Accrington Stanley do it today, it would just be the best feeling ever. But, yeah, obviously, Alex Griffin did his idea. And if I show it to you guys, even though i got four layers on, it's here somewhere. But obviously, I'm going to have to be careful because you know what some fans are like, uh, which is why I have a coat on before anyone and etc. before everyone calls me a coward. But it doesn't matter. Either way, I said I'd do it. I said I'd do it. So there it is. Oh, my God, that pigeon scared me. There it is. Up the Janners, up the Greens, up the Argyle, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. So... There's my answer to that. There is my answer to that. Come on, you boys in green, especially for next Sunday at Wembley. I'm really looking forward to Wembley, honestly. But before that, as for today, as for today, I am at um, a ground that none of us greens like at all. Um, so basically, the basis of this video is that we're all hoping today we're all hoping today, unless you're a fan of Fleetwood or Morecambe, we're all hoping today that Accrington Stanley get three precious points. I'll even be delighted if Stanley get a point at least as well, because that'll just still be a rotten day for the scum. It would. It honestly would. Um, the predictions I'm going to put in uh, the video in a second, but um, as for this fixture, unfortunately, I do think Exeter is going to win today 2-0. And my goal scorer is... My goal scorer, I've gone with Archie Collins. I think he's been one of Exeter's most underrated players this season. He plays in that midfield. He plays in that midfield um, for uh, the irrelevant club. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'd say he's my one to look out for today for them. But I'm just hoping Tommy Lee and Sean McConville just both have masterclasses today. It would just be unbelievable, wouldn't it? We need a masterclass from John Coleman, Liam's favourite manager today, because I've literally come here today to at least do a fixture at this club sometime this season, especially if I don't end up getting a ticket for the Devon Derby. Uh, 
So obviously that's why I'm here. But um, yeah, obviously we need Accrington Stanley to win. So we get and hopefully um, this stupid video will be will be quick because I don't want to be here for long. And to be fair, I'm going I'm going on my bike after this game anyway. So yeah, that should be nice. But yeah, is that a goose I can hear? Oh, I'll off. Horrible creatures. But anyway, yeah, like I said, we that's what we want today. What we want today is a win from Accrington Sandy, a win from John Coleman's side. Um, unfortunately, I think Scum's going to win 2 0, but I'm hoping Accrington pull off an absolute masterclass today. So, yeah, I'm obviously going to end this video with my tradition up the Janners, up the Pilgrims. I can't reach it. Oh, f it. No, that doesn't work. Ah! Up the Janners, up the Greens, up the Argyle, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green army. And I'll be saying that next week when we're at Wembley. Um, so, yeah, let's get, this, um, let's get this stupid idea of a day over and done with. Guess I'll see you all at the ground then. Oh, I can't wait. Meaning... <coughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
I, I, I actually am a liver fan, so uh, yeah, just so you know, um, that's that's actually that's not a bad reaction so far. I, I can't wait for later on where um, where I where I, where I become good friends with someone, I tell them my support, and then someone tells me to leave. Can I just say by looking at that name of the road already, that just shows how much of an Exeter name that is. That this road leading to the stadium is called Old Tipperton Road. Well, there it is. There it is, right there. Part of it already. Disgusting. I'm whispering it so no one hears me, obviously. We've made it. We've made it. Oh God, we are here. Honestly, come on, Aki. Please, come on, Aki. I just realised it's nearly half two. All right, guys. So I'm joined by um, I'm joined by Kevin, uh, another Exeter fan here. Kevin, how are you feeling coming into this game? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, yeah. A game again, Exeter should really win, but they never goes to plan, does it? So yeah, no, that makes it's sense. A bit inconsistent, okay. but you know, hopefully today they'll get the three points. But like I say, that it's. You never know As I say, you're probably, you're probably favourites coming into this game, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. Actually, you're one of the favourites to go down yeah. right now. I mean, the teams that are at the bottom actually just don't seem to beat. And um, they sort of got their game against the bigger clubs. But inconsistent. But I can't complain where they're on the position of the league at the moment. So Yeah, you know, no, that's, fa that's fair enough. And then wait until the summer and see who else he brings in. So. Oh, no, that makes sense. Rayton but, Caldwell was a manager so far. Um, not decided as yet. OK. So, I mean, fair nice enough. that he's brought new faces in. He does yeah. chop around with the team a little bit too much, I think. But maybe in the, in the summer, he brings more players in and a bit more consistency next season. Oh, no, that good, makes sense. Good base. And I think they just need to give managers a bit of time. Because it's still not his full side. So, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Um, what was the reaction like when Matt Taylor left the club back at the start of the season? Uh, was, he served you guys so long as well. He had, yeah. I was, he did, I did well with what he got. I wasn't always a fan of his so much, but... Yeah, I think a fresh manager coming in maybe uh, shake things up again. But like I say, it needs to be given time. So yeah, no, this makes season, sense. I mean, it's all about maybe staying up and just staying in this division for now, and then see where we go from then. Hope we can build on that in the summer. So yeah, that makes sense. What's the score prediction then for today? They ought to win Exeter. It's probably going to be a nil-nil, but I'm going to go three-one Exeter. You're going three-one. Fair enough. And who's getting on the score sheet today? Uh, well, I'd like to say Stansfield, but I think he needs a rest, Stansfield. He looks, yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks absolutely knackered, I think. But hopefully Nombe. No, nah, that makes sense. We'll go that for Nombe. Makes sense. That makes sense. Nombe um, hat-trick, there you go. What about I that? personally think he's been one of your best players this season. Yeah, personally. yeah, he's very good. So. Is there anyone, though, for Aki to look out for for today? I don't know much about that side, to be honest. No, ah, fair enough. Really. But is there anyone that Aki should look out for today for Exeter? Um, I'm not sure, really. I mean, Nombe's... Um, chances of scoring possibly but um, I can't really think of anyone to it. No, that makes depends sense. how they're going to turn up they need to be more consistent that sometimes. makes sense where do you think you'll finish come end of the season uh, pretty much where we are now I think mid table is going to yeah, be that makes sense. solid so, first season back yeah, we're never going to make the playoffs now we're not going to go down I don't think so I think we'll just yeah. pick up points here it's and there it's all about um, just getting what you can and then just preparing for next season really to stay in League That's One it. again yeah, or yeah. maybe even go further if start, you wish start again that yeah, makes sense um, can you give us your favourite Exeter chant just out of interest like, what is your favourite ex Exeter chant I like chant? cider it's just one of my oh cider. fair enough cider. fair enough um, alright now here oh, comes yeah. here, here comes the main bit of the video what's this um, okay so I'll um I'll say this. So obviously, um, I'm in the away end today. Sure. So I am in the Aki away end today. Yeah. Um, I'm actually a Plymouth fan. Oh. I've literally come for the day. Yeah, just for a sure. game out. Yeah. Scouting. I didn't know what your reaction would be. <laughs> like. I had to put it in there. So. No problem. I've been, so, I've been trying to say that so quiet all day to everyone because I don't know. I know what powerful people well, it's be nice like. So yeah. You feel you've got to do your home up and exit. Yeah. That you might not get no, basically, I'm I'm worried I won't be able to get a ticket for the derby. So I knew I, I knew I could use this game as like just to come day out with this yeah. ground, isn't it? So yeah, that's but no, right. no, yeah, I'm yeah. actually a green. So yeah. There you go. That's what I'm But enough, um, yeah. I'm just I'm just hoping on the other yeah. Don't bother it. <laughs> Just don't get too upset when we play in it. <laughs> Hope, hopefully, we get promoted on the day. Can you give me a um, We Love Plymouth? I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> can you give us a um, Can you give us a Green Army uh, or a We Love Argyle? Um, Ginsters, that's what you get. 
And there's the Adam Stansfield sign right there. There is the old badge. I can't lie, walking through there was like walking through Death Valley. Because I genuinely just thought someone at least was just recognising who I am. But all I want to do is film some panorama shots. <laughs> so yeah. Well, it turns out Suzuki don't just sponsor Cheltenham, they sponsor here as well. Can I just say, by the way, never put that name with that name on an envelope ever again. For God's sake, Aki. If Liam was at this game today, I bet John Coleman um, would have wrote this. Here we go then. Come on, the Stanley. Please, please, please. Right. Here we go then. A game, a game, a game. Right. We've made it. We've made it to this place. There's the Adam Stansfield stand. There's two more of the home stands there. Come on, Stanley. Come on, Accrington. Just please, 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 please. Just going to look at these stickers a second. They're Taunton, Charlton, Oxford. I mean, sorry, that is just false right there. Right, I did promise I'd do it. Right, here we go then. Come on the Stanley, come on the Accrington. Right, here we go then. An episode on my YouTube channel of this living place. But it's Exeter versus Accrington Stanley. And come on the Stanley. Right, kickoff's begun. And Aki's already out some the home support, so have that Exeter. Liam's favourite manager right there, John Coleman. <laughs> He's going to be fuming when he sees this on YouTube. Come on, Aki. Win the game. Win the game for Matt Butcher. Nombe. 1-0. Oh, good save. Good save. But that looks promising from the home side. I honestly thought Scum were going to be 1-0 up. Come on, Stanley. Go on. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. I mean, this might sound deliberately biased, but hearing this home crowd stadium boo and get frustrated is always a fun thing to see. <laughs> right, um, some updates around League One at the moment. We're about 31 minutes into this game so far. Charlton are 1-0 up against Wickham, but Port Vale are 1-0 up at Fratton Park. Wow. Exeter are definitely the more attacking team. They're wasting every single chance at the moment. As long as they don't score, I'm obviously happy. They've scored. No! Oh, for frick's sake. Absolutely fuming. Shut up! Number seven, Dimitri Mitchell. Oh boy. Well, it was coming, wasn't it? They were getting chance after chance, wasting every single one of them, and now they've scored. Come on, Aki, please don't give up and fight back. What are they doing? They look like 
they look like they're having one massive can't say the word um something together come on stanley Who knows, maybe if I had the Who are they? meme in my uh, in my video, Stanley will score. The one time on my channel I come to this nightmare of a ground and the one no up. It's Stansfield. Get in Jensen! That was a plus, I have a feeling he's going to get a yellow at least. Could be off, that's what they're chanting. Is a yellow. Oh, stop whining. You're one new up. Look at them, they're like, oh, oh, Exeter. I'm just there like, F Exeter. So there you go. Have that one. Half time. Oh, I... Did you see that sponsorship then? I'm sorry. This club does not deserve to be sponsored by one of our own tributes because they're proper Cornish. They should not be associating with here. But anyway, yeah, it's half time. It's scum one, who are they nil? And hopefully Atkins and Sandley will bounce back this second half. That's all I'm going to say. All right, guys, half time. Unfortunately, it's Exeter 1, Accrington Stanley 0. Or if anyone wants to put it in a meme or an Argyle world, it's Scum 1, who are they 0. Um, we've got Scott, Accrington Stanley fan here. How are you doing, mate? How's your journey um, down? Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I'm not from Accrington, so. Um, I guess that tells by the accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I ran Oxford, so it's not a Oh, you're from Oxford? Oh, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, Oxford, so. Um, how did you support how did you get yourself here? Um, basically, when I was younger, um, I didn't want to support like, you know, United, Liverpool, all them lot, so, yeah, so I just sat on that one. Fair so, enough, so, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Um, what do you make of the game so far? Of course, half time, extra to one, accurate standing nil. Yeah, what's your thoughts on the game so far? We've been caught. We haven't been caught. Extra definitely be better. Yeah, no. As much as it pains me to say this, I do agree. Yeah. I, I saw they have a chance after chance, and then, and then they just scored that. Out yeah, I, I mean, I have to admit, it was, it was a good goal. Um, yeah, it's just a bit of a season, I think. This game, I think they keep, they keep getting that ball. Um, we just sort of, um, we just need to play around on the ground a bit. We keep pushing out, we keep putting the ball in the air, but it just keeps on going back to the extra. So I think if we can play on the ground a bit, actually run at them, yeah, we're not going to happen. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Despite the, despite, oh, sorry, yeah, actually, no, what are you saying? No, 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 okay, oh, no worries. Um, despite the scoreline, though, who would you say has been Stanley's best player so far today? I'd say Jackson. I agree. Yeah, He's made save after save after save, and he was unlucky when that shot I mean, went that, in as well. Like I can see him screaming at your defence as well. Yeah, he has, he's, he's good, isn't it? I mean, at 1 0, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. It could have been 3 0 at least. So. Yeah, no, it makes, makes sense. Before the um, before the game, what was your score prediction coming into today? Um, see, I um, I thought possibly a draw, maybe a one all. Um, looking at the game now, I doubt. I think maybe maybe a two nil, three nil extra. Uh, um, okay. I hate to say it, but I, I mean, I mean to be fair, I thought it was going to be two nil scum today, but yeah. um, but I literally just spent the whole train journey from Plymouth today just going. Yeah. I hope that can prove me wrong, please. I like, I like to be realistic, but then yeah, no, I'm the same to be fair. But yeah, I think if we can if we can play on the ground a bit, I think I've been too, I think I've been too bad with Green, so it's yeah. just on how well we've managed yeah. to do this. Yeah, season. we have done well this season. So. Nah, fair yeah. enough. But did you go home park in October? No, I haven't. No. Um, oh, fair enough. I was no. going to say, what well, did you make of your away day there? No, I've been. I went there a couple of seasons ago. Oh, um, fair enough. Anyway, I did enjoy it. Did enjoy the. Was score. that? Oh, I was going. I was saying because um, I, I went to I went to the one in oh, it was 2018-19. You battered us three nil. Uh, oh, I did that was the year we went down. I you, went you did really you, well that year. I went to the one actually last year in March when you battered oh, us, yeah. when you battered us four nil. Oh yeah, so, no yeah. yeah, good result that was good result. Um, yeah. but no um. 
From an Aki point of view, who's been, who would you say has been the best player all season, though, for your club this season? Um, I can't really say that much, because obviously I don't go to all the games. I love how the um, drum's still going at half-time, that's amazing. I would probably say well, either Jensen or Toilee. Um, yeah, well, fair enough, Jensen, fair enough. Jensen, games, but I think Tommy Lee, he's not, um, he's not normally a, um, he's not normally a player that you can really rely on for the most part. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So to him go there, he's created lots of chances for the fucking goal, so... I'd say again, we're just ready for Yeah, no, it makes sense, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, where do you think Aki will finish coming into the season? Do you think we'll stay up or do you think we'll go down? I like to think we'll stay up. Yeah. I think if we are going to stay up, we'll be losing by a couple of points, um, just outside the relegation zone. Um, do you I'm think gonna, we will stay up, though? That's, that's the thing. That's fair. Um, there's so many teams around you though. Yeah. Morecambe, obviously, yeah. a team you can stand. Obviously, MK Dons. Yeah. Um, I think realistically, I'd say I would no. say Burton, but they've been so doing so well yeah. lately. I think realistically, I think the, I think last the last game, not the Argo game, sorry, the Mel Keynes game, that's killed us a little bit. We yeah. need to win that game. So I think the realistic meet of no. Cambridge are another one around here. Yeah, we've got that game coming up. We need to, we need to win that. Yeah, that's a big relegation battle, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, realistically, I don't think no. I think. Yeah. It's a shame because uh, you guys were fantastic last season, I thought. Yeah. I mean, 12th yeah. place as well, beating Charlton as well. Yeah, yeah. Because the last couple of seasons have been alright, like mid-table, yeah. mid-table finishes, you can't ask for all. So. Exactly, but, exactly. Um, who do you say has been Exeter's best player so far today? Um, I forget his name, but I think uh, Goldsworth. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Mitchell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, no, that makes sense, that makes sense. Nah, cheers for coming on, mate. Oh, actually, before we finish, um, at the start of the season, what was your prediction on Aki in the table? Mid-table finish, yeah. Fair enough, fair 12, enough. 12, 13, 14, something like that. So. Where, have you got, where have you got our goal to finish, just out of interest? Um, I had them around playoffs. Fair enough. So, I'll take that, to be yeah. fair. I know I was a bit biased, I was confident in the team from the no, start. I had a good, second, but yeah. playoffs I would have taken at the start of the year anyway. So, yeah. Because yeah. no. we need to just improve from seventh place last season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, MK Dons beat us on the last day, and we lot, we went from fifth to seventh on the last day. Yeah. And then these lot kept rubbing it in, going, oh, we're going up and you bottle it. I'm like, yeah, we'll see who the real best yeah. club is then. Uh, but no, yeah, that no, makes sense. Um, and yeah, before we leave, can you give me your favourite Atkins and Stanley chant? Uh, <laughs> Don't have to sing it, you could say it if no, you want um, to. I was I can't think of the <laughs> Pardon? Red Army. Oh, just the Red Army. Red Army one, yeah. At least it's yeah. this Red Army, not that Red Army. Yeah, oh, gosh. Yeah, either that or um, one of the player charts or the other player charts. Yeah, fair enough, enough, fair enough. Can you describe. Exeter as a place in the club in three words. Um, three words. Uh, friendly. Um, oh dear. Enjoyable. Oh god. Um, <laughs> uh, annoying because I'm an Atkinson fan. Hey, uh, okay, I'll take the annoying. I'll take the annoying. I'll take the annoying. For an away fan, it has been a good experience. No, 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 no. Oh, it's only the start of the second half and it's already freaking 2-0. Oh. It's bloody 2-0 as well. It's too easy for Exeter and it's 2-0. Oh, this is not looking good now. This is not looking good now. Come on, Aki. Oh, no. It's 3 0. It's 3 0. Well, while I got told off for drinking, um, drinking, drinking a can I had in my bag, um, They've scored a third. Third goal for Exeter City, sponsored by Camp Ceilings and Partitions. Number 10, Sam Nombe. I'm, can I just say, I'm not surprised Nombe got on the score sheet. He's played really well.
Oh, here we go. Their arrogant chance is back. No, I've just been told off because um, because I had a well, I had a well, I had a, I had a, um, I had a fizzy drink in my bag. I was just all I just wanted to do was drink it, but no, Seward wasn't happy, so obviously I had to give it to him. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Not everything's perfect, you know, when you come to a football game. And not everything's perfect right now anyway, because the minute that happens, these buggers are now 3-0 up, thanks to Sam Nombo. It's 3-0 Exeter, and I want to go home, because Exeter's a sh**. I want to go home. I want to go home. Exeter's a sh**. I want to go home. Listen to them. Oh, you're going down. You're going down. That's hot. That's so scummy. Kevin McDonald is coming off. He probably had too many McDonald's then before today. That was a Daryl joke. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'll be you guys in, in um, some point soon. So shut up and pipe down. Oh, Stanley's going down. Yeah, just rub it in, why don't you, you utter melons. It's not nice to be relegated. Oh, God, no, no. For, oh, my freaking God. It's too easy for Exeter. Oh, this is, I, I, this is just horrible to watch. Stanley have been absolutely destroyed. And now it's raining to sum up my mood. I honestly thought it was going to be five then. And it pains me to say this, but this is no more than Exeter deserve. This has just been terrible. This has been terrible from John Coleman's side today. 20 quid to hopefully see John Coleman's side get at least something in this game. And they've been absolutely battered by these annoying lots. Five. This is just Sam Bollock. This is absolutely embarrassing. Waste of money. Fifth goal of the afternoon for Exeter City. Sponsored by Alex England Decorators. Number nine, Jay Stansfield. Actually, it's literally, this is f***ing sh Can I just say, despite this battering, fair play to the Stanley fans here. But honestly, still going on like this when 5 0 down. I mean, that is fair enough. That is class. I thought I was going to me for a minute then. Argyle till I die. I know I am. I sure I am. I'm Argyle till I die. That's it. A miserable, miserable day. Not the 20 quid I spent that I was hoping for. Scum battered Akron and Stanley. To be fair, fair play to the Stanley fans are still going when you're 5-0 down. Oh, I'm gutted for Stanley. I was really hoping Stanley would get a win or a draw today at least. But Exeter obliterated Accrington. Going to... So... Going to Exeter. 
with that has not worked at all today. It was worth a go though, but it just wasn't to be. That is Scum's biggest win of the season. It may be a, uh, it may be an annoying defeat, honestly, but there is one thing for sure though, that Exeter still cannot get past anyway. We're better than you. We're better than you. We're better than you. Plymouth Argyle is better than you. Not what I was hoping for. So yeah, that goes the end of that. Not what I was hoping for. Well, that's the end of that. It's now raining and I've got a cycle. Well, I want to cycle for a bit and then, then we're going back to the better part of this land. At least I can say goodbye to this stupid place. Okay, guys, um, full time, of course, in that video. Um, it ended Exeter 5, Accrington standing nil. I'm joined by Casper and Evo, two Greasians fans here. Yeah. Not the ideal club you want to support. How do you feel after that performance? Mate, fair honestly, play, honestly, you tormented them. Like, fair play. First half, bit slow, bit slow, to be honest. But we got uh, the first goal, and then honestly, it all, it all kicked off in the second half. Yeah. Uh, goal after goal. No, that makes sense. Uh, celebrations all around the big back, honestly. The big, big back. back. Yeah. No, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Who do you think was your best player today, then? Oh, that's Stanley. Stanley. Stanley's well, well, Nombe as well, Nombe. Well, I think Nombe and Archie Collins have been the two best yeah. players of the season this season, I think. Mm -hmm. but. No, I thought, I thought that was a terrific performance from you guys today, like, fair, fair play. Honestly, after that, I wouldn't be shocked, and I've, I've said this to the guys I, I work with just that way, I literally said to them, I was like, I wouldn't be shocked if they beat Barnsley on Tuesday night, I wouldn't be shocked if you beat Barnsley on Tuesday night, playing like that. Well, it seems a bit on and off, actually. Yeah. We've got some good games, so yeah. we get some bad games. Oh, so. definitely. I mean, not that I usually wish for this, but I actually need the scum to do us a favour <laughs> Tuesday night, because they are playing Barnsley. But... <laughs> There you are, but no, um, is there anyone for Aki that you thought stood out today? Because I thought they were dreadful. The, yeah, keeper, were. Shotgun, the keeper I thought was all right until yeah. you got your rampage in. Yeah. <laughs> After but, like, no, your biggest win of the yeah. season so far as well. Yeah. After like three, no one is they just started making mistakes and then we just capitalised on, uh, on them and then the game. Yeah, no, that makes sense, makes sense. Before the game, what was your score prediction? I was thinking it, it might be a close game because we had a game against Forest Green and they were uh, yeah. at the bottom and it, and it ended 1-1. One, one. Yeah. I thought it was going to be close. I, I was like thinking of like 2-1 maybe. But then after like a 5-0 win, then I'm really happy. I'm yeah, really happy. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, but I mean, who did you have to score today anyway? Just have interest. Oh, of course, Nombe. 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 And it, obviously he's done it again, yeah. as the certain lead judges yeah. would say. Yeah, he's on top of it. Yeah, no, he's, he's doing really well, isn't he? He's doing yeah. really well. Um, where, as it stands, then after that, how do you think you'll do against Barnsley on Tuesday night? Oh, uh, it gave us a lot of confidence out there. Honestly, smashing them five 0 We should. Uh, it will be a close game, obviously, but we should do. We should do. And don't forget, of course, you won at Oakwell this season yeah. as well, back in October. Mm. Probably your best away performance of the season. Yeah. We, well, away result at least, anyway. I mean, we should. Yeah, we should. Hopefully win, obviously. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that makes obviously sense. Obviously, away day is a, it's a hard to... Oh, no, yeah, they always are. I mean, yeah. like, I mean, look at me, for example. I mean, we got battered by Peter and Charles, yeah, and I went yeah. to both of them. It was so s***, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Uh, but where do you guys think Where do you guys think you'll finish coming into the season? Uh, probably just, like, mid-table. Like, just because it's our first season uh, in League One since uh, we got promoted uh, from League Two. Uh, it's just, you know... Oh, Oh, thank you, mate. Thank you. No, that does happen. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, mate. Uh, honestly, mid table, and then obviously uh, we'll be hoping for next season to get promoted. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Makes sense. Um, at the start of the season, where did you have to come this season? Oh, for me, obviously, I'm a 
You know, I wanted us to go to the uh, championship. Always dream big. Oh no, to be fair, I mean, I'm still, I mean. Okay, so these guys already know I support the Greens. So um, that's, um, we, we figured that already. But anyway, um, it's the same as me anyway, because I'm still dreaming for the Prem one yeah. day. So, because I mean, I've seen us in the championship before. And in minute 2010, everything went down. Mm -hmm. But is what it is, is what it is. But um, can you give us your favourites? Exeter not that I want to say this on my video, of course, but <laughs> since is. I'm here, we may as well. <laughs> it has to be the Shalala. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, okay, that makes sense. And uh, before we um, before we end this video, can we have one? Uh, can we have one Green Army or We Love Plymouth? Thank no, you for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I never knew I was at Arsenal's ground right now. I'm going to take you guys to a beauty spot for the end of this video. Obviously, it's not here. It's a bit further southeast of Exeter. The River X at night time. That's where we're going, Exmouth, to wrap up the video. <sighs> right, well, it turned out, it turned out that this is the end of the vlog because my phone decided to run out in Exmouth and I couldn't charge it anywhere. And also on that cycle to Exmouth, I ended up getting horrendously I have to be honest, p down on by rain <laughs> while on my bike. So, no, it is what it is though. But obviously, um, it ended 5-0. Not, not a result I wanted to hear at all or see at all. Obvious reasons why. But at the end of the day, unfortunately, Exeter deserved it because Akron's and Stanley were just terrible from start to finish. Their keeper Jensen kept them in the game and then the minute Exeter scored, they went on the rampage. And that was it. That was it. That was game over. And Scum get their biggest win of the season. So that is really the end of that, really. Um, nothing else really happened. Uh, Stanley nearly got themselves sent off. But overall, yeah, they were just so poor and they got totally outclassed overwhelmed everything absolutely everything don coleman had no clue what he was doing today at all in my opinion and if they keep playing like how they did today getting hammered like that then aki could honestly go down they could go down which is a shame if they do but i guess it might happen it might happen this season it's very likely to be fair they're in that relegation scrap with cambridge forest green morecambe MK Dons. Morecambe lost to MK Dons today to make it even... MK winning made it even worse for Aki, so... The bottom four are not looking very good at all at the moment, honestly. Unless Forest Green somehow pull off an absolute survive, um, an absolute spectacular game against Sheffield Wednesday tomorrow, which I don't think they will. I don't think anyone thinks they will, but it would be funny as heck. It would be hilarious. Um... But I'm now about to get off the train because I'm now getting off at the better city. Uh, and I'll show you the sign just now. You Janners! It's chucking it. But hey ho, hey ho, we're back. The actual best city in the Southwest, unlike Exeter. So I guess that brings the end of the video. Um, a bit of a different episode to obviously your, what you usually get, of course. But then again, that just shows I'm a football fan in general, not just a Plymouth Argyle fan. So there you are, guys. So I'm going to turn around the camera in a second as I see that beautiful, beautiful word beginning with P. And now I'm going to take you somewhere special to close the video. And I think you might know where that is. And here it is, just here. 
I know it's raining, so I'm going to try and be careful. And I know, I know the minute I get in the house, I am showering. But... Yeah. Uh, here it is right here. I am probably going to get a bit muddy, but who cares? Because this is such a wonderful sign, as we all know. Up the Janners, up the Greens, up the Argyle, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Good night. Several song-filled hours later.